guys, Preston within Three Boat Works here. It's a 2014 Malibu Wake Setter 22 MXZ model. Uh, I'm gonna go through some of the features on this boat. We just got this boat in on consignment, and oddly enough, this was my boat. So uh, I've got plenty of plenty of info on it, know all the history on it. So should be able to give you guys a pretty good overview of the boat here. Uh, I want to get you a good look at the outside first, so we'll take a step around. As you can see, we got it in what they call in the red and charcoal gray hole bottom, um, charcoal gray bow deck, and interior deck um, in the red all down the sides, the gray accent, and our uh, wake setter graphic. It is sitting on a tandem axle trail master trailer in black. You'll see on the outside, there is the Malibu deck track option. So it's kind of a non-skid. Um, they run on the bow and on the rear deck of the boat on the top here. So it's a nice grippy texture. You won't be slipping if you're stepping in and out of this boat on the side. Apologize for any wind noise. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Uh, this is a one owner boat. We had it, uh, bought it new in fall of 2013. Malibu G3 Tower with two Rockford Fosgate Tower speakers, Bimini top, two rotating board racks. Awesome surf boat as well. Um, kind of want to go through and point out some small scratches on the exterior. You'll see there's one here about an inch long in the gel, one right in front of it. Um, that was from a boat lift. Um, let's take a look here. There's a small scratch right there. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, um, but a couple small scratches in the gel on the starboard side um, let's see here I'm trying to think of anything else on the front here on this side gel is in good shape scratches there. Again, I think these were both from the boat lift. But let's go back here to the rear of the boat. There are a few scratches in the transom just from uh, taking boards in and out of the boat. It's probably the one spot on a boat where you're going to see the majority of scratches. You can see one small one there and there. Very small, nothing major. And then our platform, I mean, I'm going to note anything else. Um, there are some small scratches in the traction pad just from wakeboard fins and people calling it that there. So normal wear and tear. And we will climb on up into the interior. So we've got what they call a driftwood in platinum colored interior. Any red seat boxing and accents and piping. And our gray interior deck in here. On the rear end of the boat, there is a step pad um, to get up into the boat where you're actually, that's actually your lower vent under there. Um, and you got some storage bins to either side. So those flip up. There's little trays in there. If you want to use them as a cooler, that's a good spot, especially if you're out in a sandbar or swimming in the lake. Uh, let's go ahead and pop open the engine hatch boat. We do have an option with uh, play and 750 pound bags in each rear locker. And there's your full cover as well. Covers in like brand new condition. Under the drying tray, as you can see, there's a drying tray. It's usually where I store my boats in the pond. Uh, if you're out on a cold day, it's a great spot to throw your jacket in there, get it warmed up before it comes on. But underneath is green power. 6 liter Corvette 
that LS3 450 horsepower. Engine's got 132 hours on it. Very powerful motor. Uh, usually put about, you know, with all the ballast full plus another bag in the boat, I used to put 4,000 pounds of ballast in. It gets up right up on the plane. Um, another feature on the back end of the boat. See our pop up ski pylon. Fold that and flip it back down right there. Uh, but on to the interior. We do have snap in carpet. You can see, pop this up. Just have a non skid floor underneath. But uh, yeah, snap out carpet. Um, full Ross Rockford Fosgate stereo. So you have four speakers in the main cabin, 12 inch Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. Over here on the dash, there is a sub uh, bass dial right here. Get that to focus. So you can control your bass there, how much bass power you want. Um, and up in the bow, there is an additional two Rockford Fosgate speakers. Huge bow in this boat, MXZ is Malibu's pickle fork. Um, so a huge bow, four people, three or four people can sit up there nice and comfortably. Um, the boat seats 14. But overall, I mean, the boat's, the interior is in perfect shape. There's no rips or, or tears anywhere. Um, one thing I will note, the interior deck, there's a small scratch here at the seat base there, likely from some type of board in the boat. Um, scratching the gel there. Um, tons of cup holders. On your G3 tower gives you a good look here. We do have the bimini top stored in the boot. Brand new bimini top with the boat. Um, it is a folding tower as well. There's two out. The tower folds forward behind the windshield. Nice big PTM mirror. Um, I talked about the ballast for a second there. Again, there's uh, 750 bags plumbed in the rear. But there are also three stock hard tanks below the floor. Um, the hard tanks, there's four of them. Two in the rear, one in the belly, and then one up underneath the front seats. Um, again, hard tanks adding up to about 1,350 pounds of ballast, plus 1,500 um, with the bags and your power wedge. Simulates roughly I think another thousand pounds depending on where you have it set to. Uh, onto the dash, uh, the right side is a touchscreen uh, keyless ignition. Um, left side, you've got your stereo control. And on the uh, Malibu screen, you've got your rider presets, everything else in there. I uh, won't go into too much detail. And then on either side, you've got uh, tachometer and a speedometer on the dash as well. Adjustable steering wheel, flip up bolster seat, it will rotate and slide. Um, one other thing we'll show you up under our storage area you got two batteries and all the uh, stereo amplifiers. Um, this boat is option with Bluetooth as well for the stereo, and you can see the controller box in there for that. Um, also, um, in your glove box, you've got USB auxiliary, so on and so forth, in your glove box. So, and there's actually a, an iPod cable in there to hook up to as well. Um, but yeah, that pretty much covers what we've got in this uh, 22 MXZ. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We'll be getting some uh, on-water video of this as well, so take a look. Uh, but give us a call, 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.